We begin with the breaking news update. Tonight, we are learning more about the victims in yesterday's shooting outside Benito Juarez High School, where two teenagers were killed. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is live in Pilsen. And Sabrina, you've been in touch with some of their loved ones. Hi, Dana. We've been contacting those close to the victims today. All of this too fresh to even talk about. Two teens have died. We now know their identities, and no one is in custody. It's quiet on Cermak, a small memorial on school grounds. Candles, flowers, much different than yesterday at dismissal. Shots fired outside Benito Juarez High School. Police believe this person might have been behind the trigger, firing across the flakes of snow, striking two teens in the head. We now know their names. 14-year-old Nathan Biegas. We spoke with his family earlier today, not ready to share details about the high school freshman. And 15-year-old Brandon Perez. Our sources are telling us that the victims did not attend the same high school, that only two of the four attend Benito Juarez. We connected with some of those close to the 15-year-old boy and 15-year-old girl who were also shot, now doing well and with family. The teenage girl was shot in the thigh, the boy shot in his leg, and in his thigh. Mayor Lori Lightfoot responded to yesterday's shooting this morning, pointing to the pressing need for illegal guns to be taken off our streets. It's not clear if the gun used in this shooting was illegal. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown did say that some investigators suspect this might have been part of a gang conflict and as of Saturday morning did not have anyone in custody. Dana, community leaders are expected to be here tomorrow morning, that Sunday morning, to call for stricter gun laws, but also to offer a reward to anyone who has information that might lead police to the shooter. We're live in Pilsen. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.